Uh, my name is Joel Metter. I'm going to talk a little bit about a gem called Guard. Uh, Guard is ostensibly about monitoring directories and basically doing something about it, about changes. Um, what I'm going to show is running unit tests automatically and basically upload or, uh, reloading a web page based on CSS and JavaScript stuff. And I'm also running Rails 3.1 beta here, so you guys can see some, some QQ and assets, and it's crazy. Nothing works right. <laughs> That's just a joke. It mostly works right. Um, so, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, okay, so I wrote like my normal thing, which is I wrote a really stupid, uh, stupid Rails app that has one model. Where's my? And that model is this. Super simple. Um, and I have some tests. They look like this. Test unit. Really simple stuff. Um, the model itself looks like that. Um, one thing you're going to see here is Rails 3.1 has a gem called turn, which is installed, or it's in the gem file by default, and it changes your output to be more different right there. It doesn't actually work right. <laughs> Because it doesn't say 100% passed. But trust me, those pass because it's green. That's how I do um, So, what I did was I installed some stuff. Um, this is my gem file. A lot of this stuff is by default in 3.1. Um, this is going to be kind of a 3.1 and guard presentation if you haven't figured that out. So, uh, you get SAS, CopyScript, Uglifier, jQuery Rails. And this turn gem, by chance. Uglifier is a JavaScript and possibly CSS minifier. So, yeah. So it makes your cool looking stuff look really awful. It's a good name after you know what it is. Yes. You're like, oh, that's the thing that screws everything up for me. But uh, actually, what happens, uh, I might get into it if anyone's curious, but there's some, some magic happening under the, under the covers here. Uh, so I've got all these things. Uh, these gems are the important ones for the presentation. Um, so the guard gem, I think, if I understand properly, is kind of a template, and then you implement various things. There are a whole bunch of guard, well, there's like a list of 25 different guard gems that all do different things. There's like one for RSpec, and one for Cucumber, and one for Phantom JS, and one for some other stuff, and one for your mom. It's all over the place. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's not one for your mom. <laughs> um, right, so in theory, if I run bin guard, which is the guard uh, application basically, and then I go to my test, and I'm like, sort post dot, that one's not going to work. <laughs> No, that one was going to work. That was right the first time. In theory, what's going to happen is my post test is going to run again, and I'm going to get some stuff. But I screwed it up, so. I don't know. I've been having some problems. I don't know why. Um, sometimes when I save, it actually runs, and sometimes it doesn't. So let's try that again. In theory, this is supposed to work. This is kind of running into Nate territory, where things kind of work, <laughs> kind of don't. <laughs> hey, it's going to work this time, though. Good times. Anyway, so that's the theory. I'm not convinced that the test unit one actually is in a good state because it's been kind of spotty. Let's try it again. Nothing. Awesome. OK, well, fail on my part, but. But the RSpec one works? Uh, it certainly worked in the Rails cast. 
All his people. So we should watch that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you saw that it kind of worked. It, it did one. It ran once. Uh, so if no one's ever heard of it, Watcher is another thing that does something similar to this. Um, it's kind of auto test after. Auto test. Why did we all use auto test? I don't remember. It's awful. Maybe there's throttling. Maybe there's throttling, there's throttling on that guard thing or something when you're saving. Because I save like every five seconds. Maybe it. It stops it from. Do you have Watcher set up to just save your files every five seconds? <laughs> No, I like, it's, it's, it's just serious, it's like a weird <laughs> habit. I control S like every every time I take it. He has an auto order. commit that he squashes. The anyway, uh, <laughs> so that that is supposed to work. Clearly, I'm not doing it right or something. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, the one that I thought was a lot cooler is called uh, auto reload. I think. So when you do when you install guard, you have to set up this guard file, and each of the gems in theory does. <coughs> It has an init command you can run with the the guard program, so it's like guard init test for un test unit. And then there's another one called live reload, uh, and the test unit looks like this. And I'm sorry that you can't read it. Maybe if I that's a little better. No, it's not better. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of hard to read, but basically it's, I'm going to look in the models for changes and then I'm going to run a test unit with a match. <coughs> so that's what it does. Um, and then the live reload one is, it watches HAML files and helper files, CSS JavaScript, and it's actually set up for Rails 3.0 and below, not 3.1, so you have to make some changes. Um, and there's a Firefox add-on, and also a Safari extension, and a Chrome extension, and I don't think there's an Opera extension yet, but I'm sure it's coming. So you install this thing, and then uh, let me restart Guard, and it will tell me it's waiting for a browser. So I click this little thing down here, and it's like, I'm connected to your browser now. Okay, so I have my posts. Um, and what I'm going to do is try and change one of my SAS files and we'll see if it doesn't work. Because Rails 3.1 doesn't actually emit anything to the public directory as far as I can tell. Huh. Which is a useful thing to know if you start doing Rails 3.1. And Guard is watching the public directory? Or? Guard is watching public for changes to uh, CSS, JS, and HTML files. I think it writes them in production. Okay. Uh, development. I would not be surprised. But that seems a lot awesome. Can you just change that? You can see how you can start developing this production. Yeah, so it's it's doesn't it look for requests <laughs> to CSS and then generate the um, thing on the fly. fly? Yeah, you can see in the server log, Sprockets is actually doing some stuff. Yeah. And in development, it says fresh, which probably means it's streaming it or something. Doing it live. Uh, which is the only way to go, I think. Yeah. So that didn't work, but we're going to change this. I've already set it up to look at style sheets uh, for SAS, and that's CSS and CSS files that change. Uh, so I'll restart this and go poke the button again. And this will be cooler if I like somehow get Emacs and Firefox to play nice. Maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet, you guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I swear this worked at home. It totally worked. That should we go back to your house? Work. <laughs> See, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entertained by this. Uh, let me try again. Why not? It works really nicely with 3.0. Uh, okay. We're connected. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs>
Some of this may be beta. <laughs> I don't know which part is the most beta. <laughs> anyway, so that's the theory. You make changes, things happen. Uh, I also set up JavaScript. I think the secret might be restarting my browser every time I want to do this. So we'll just play that game. Um, in my guard file, uh, have this line, which looks for changes to JS and coffee files. Um, and this is my, oh my god, it's so tiny, I'm sorry. This is a uh, copy scripts file, which I wrote earlier and has a really dumb thing. I won't change it yet. Well, we can't see it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> for some reason, oh, man. Light, so for some reason, dark gray on a black background is a little hard to read on. Well, I'll pro we'll probably be able to see it with the comment out. That's true, but why not have that? Is that better? Oh, you need to install a text with the coffee script bundle. Yeah, I don't really use TextMate, so <laughs> I don't care. Is there anybody anymore? I I'm sure someone does. Um, I think he's sitting next to me. Right, so in theory, now if I restart multi <laughs> Thank you. You have a hate profile. We can see here. No. Are you a DM or not? Awesome. Uh, okay, so in theory, what it's happens is when I save this file, I'm going to get a pop up in my, my Firefox window. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so that's kind of my presentation. I also have one Git thing that I found last week that I think you guys might enjoy. Uh, this is my favorite command found in the last three months called Git What Changed. <laughs> it's built into Git. So what? Is that built into Git? Yep. Uh, it shows you the files that were changed, uh, the previous commit of the file if there is one, otherwise it shows these zeros. And yeah, super super duper handy. That's cool. Is you, that you could pass it two or? versions and it'll say what changed between them two. Yes, you can do that. It takes all the standard rev. Has that been there a long time or is that a newer? I think it's been there forever, like one five. Forever, no, for like a year or something. Like so long get ever. <laughs> yeah, forget ever. I saw a hand go up somewhere. Any questions? Otherwise, no. Why, why is this better than Washer or something like that? Because it looks exactly the same, at least syntax. Because this has more gems you can install. You can have like 50 gems in your gem file just for a Watcher. Um, I I don't remember Watcher exactly like what the syntax okay. was, but I found setting it up a lot easier. I remember trying to set up Watcher a while back and it was like, I wanted to kill myself. So this I was just like, you know, guard in it. Okay, it's working. Sweet, I'm done now. Well, does Watcher do, so Watcher will do that same live updating like CSS changes and stuff or? I don't know, I, I do use Live Reload, but I use the Live Reload gem. <laughs> Not guard, so maybe that's the advantage that it taps in the API okay. thing. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was cool. There's a Railscast. Um, if you guys are interested, I also put this repo up on my my thing, which I don't know. I'll tweet it or something. Uh, so there's guard tests, live reload, guard reload. I don't remember what this is. Also live reload. And then Railscast 264 is the one that's about guard. And it shows it shows the unit testing actually working, so I don't like the new design. Yeah, when did yeah. that happen? It was so much better. Monday. This week. Seriously? The yeah. fonts are weird. It's like eighties now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Retro. I like the new site. I do not like yeah, I like the new logo. Yeah. yeah. I like everything but the new logo. And and the uh, and the, the new sound. music. Yeah. yeah. The, what? Halloween color. What? Yeah, yeah, they got rid of the xylophone. What? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I got confused yeah. the first time. Yeah, I it's it. Wait, is it like, like is it like eighties keyboard? <laughs> uh, I, it's something <laughs> like <laughs> reminiscent of it. Yeah. The NBA theme, John Tesh's <laughs> NBA theme. Like maybe April <laughs> Fools came late for them, but I don't. Know. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> like an old Nintendo game. I had that on my Casio! <laughs> oh. Alright. I wonder if we uh, take a pool to see when the old one comes back. 
<laughs> There's some nice stuff on it. I mean, the, the video, I think, is a, plays a little nicer in there. In the oh, yeah, they switched HTML5 video. Like that. Yeah. They switched to HTML, HTML5 video by default. Just yeah. the design of it kind of makes me... Did we clap the door? Uh, <laughs>